Hello and welcome back. Swans. I'm hoping this is the metal band. I don't even know, but let's let's check it out. that voice sound familiar from? I'm trying to think where that voice sounds really familiar. Oh, I got it. It sounds familiar from the guest vocals on that one Boxcar Racer song. Uh, if you know, you know. It's probably this guy. It's like pretty high budget. Especially for the early 80s. It's almost like they went to uh, Nobody Beats the Wiz and just unloaded the paint. <laughs> just dropped some bags of money at the counter. Maybe he bought that hat on Canal Street. <laughs> Telecaster. Here's a debate for the comment section. Is a Telecaster more bluegrass folk music or is it more um, indie rock? Or like Texas bluegrass or whatever. Oh, he's gonna hurt his eyes. Oh no. He's got the sight. It's kind of like industrial grimy for a repetitive type of song I, th I think a lot of their stuff is like repetitive like that it's entertaining because it's like a lot of different changes The video was pretty good. I'm gonna give that video a 10 out of 10. Well, not a 10. I'll give it an 8, because it's so 80s. But I want to look at um, the Wikipedia page for this group real quick. And let's see if I can just pop that on the screen. Alright, so... This band was founded in 19... 
82 by singer, songwriter, and multi-instrumentalist Michael Gira. One of the few acts to emerge from New York City-based no-wave scene. I think I know what no-wave is from reading the liner notes on a Breeders album. Started by Kim Deal, or maybe not, but it's just recording to analog tape with no cuts or anything. And stay intact through into, next, into the next decade. Noise rock, post-punk, industrial, post-rock. That was pretty industrial. Their music was known for its sonic brutality and misanthropic lyrics. Which I don't... I'm not a big... I don't even really know what misanthropic is going to mean. Miss is like negative. Anthropic. Like anthropod. Against humanity. I guess that would kind of fall in line with him screaming damn you to hell over and over again. Alright, so they added the keyboardist Jarbo. Who I'm guessing was the woman with the blonde uh, braided dreads or whatever. They added more melody, then they dissolved in 97. That, and I think these guys recorded at the same studio that Sonic Youth recorded at, Martin BC's studio, which is like, I'd have to go back into my knowledge banks to really recover this information. I'm pretty sure that's true, though. Uh, let's see, I'll look a little bit more on this. What am I at? Six minutes. Wow, so this guy looks pretty normal in this photo. He looks like Brian Setzer or something. Okay, the name Swans. It's majestic and beautiful looking creature with ugly temperament. Okay, some guy quit. Early style. Oh, it's compared to a blues guy, Chester Burnett. Slow and grinding guitar noise, pounding drums, morbid and violent lyrics, barked or shouted. Critics have described Swan's early recordings as aggressive beyond words. I think Swan's is supposed to be like, they're supposed to be like some sort of pioneers in like industrial metal, I guess. Influential pioneers. They have a huge Wikipedia page. I don't know what's wrong with my voice today, I'm just like not pronouncing words correctly. All right, 88 to 97, blah, blah, blah. He was tired. The leader was tired of the band's reputation for noise. The audience now had expectations he had no intention of fulfilling. He made a conscious decision to tone down the band's sound, introducing more acoustic elements and increasingly emphasizing Jarbo as the singer. Okay, what this... I, I immediately think of Kevin Shields and the woman that sings on My, Blood, My Bloody Valentine. Um, oh no, they started doing world music. I guess they like changed up the style completely. You know, the more I think about writing music, it's tough to know what to do at any given point. Like, if you, if you become proficient in any way like when you're just starting you really have no idea what to what you're doing so like anything you create is a miracle but then as you get more proficient you kind of have a choice of like what kind of style you want to make and it's tough to know what's going to be successful if you're in it for making money this looks like they came back together 2018 and they went on tour Let's read a little bit longer. Apocalyptic. That was that describes what we just saw. All right, let's read a little bit about a no wave and then close out the video. Oh, no wave was emerged in the late seventies. So what am I reading about that was on that Breeders liner notes? I swear it was no wave talking about recording. Short-lived but highly influential in the music world. 1978 compilation No New York. Quintessential testament to this scene's musical aesthetic. So this has to include Basquiat's group, I'm guessing. This is where I'm headed, if I can follow this. Oh, we have Brian Eno. No New York. Wow, let's see.
Mars DNA. I don't know any of this stuff really. Teenage Jesus and the Jerks. Contortions. Yeah, see, some of the, you know, I'm kind of hesitant to, I mean, Brian Eno, obviously, I recognize, but I'm, I'm hesitant to follow exactly what the critics say or what's supposedly acclaimed, because sometimes you you follow the path down to, like, music that's really not all that great, but it's pumped up, but I guess I can investigate no way for a future video. But that was enjoyable. I liked watching Swans buy out. Uh, nine different TVs from PC Richards, and then uh, decorate a random abandoned warehouse somewhere in probably Long Island City with a smoke machine and different props to create that video. I also enjoyed that swirling, again, more analog effects. The past two weeks I've been talking about analog effects, but that was pretty cool. And if you enjoyed this reaction, let me know um, in the comments what you thought about that video, and maybe like... If you could name one other band in the same sentence as Swans as being similarly influential in this style, who would it be? Would it be um, Skinny Puppy or some sort of industrial pioneers who are never really mentioned in the mainstream, in mainstream thoughts, I guess. But um, yeah, that was pretty good. I enjoyed that. And until next time, please hit the like button, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye.